Hi, this is Kim, the Hypertufa Gardener, and welcome everyone and thanks for visiting my video today. Today we're going to talk about renewing old planters. I've got this old planter that I had, I think it was the black and blue dahlia in, and it is looking a little bit worn this year. Some of the finishing has worn off the bottom and a little bit around the rim and edges. But it's still in good shape, no holes or anything. So I would like to renew that. It is still full of soil, but I'm gonna try a shortcut method and see what I can do to get that all renewed. So stick with me and see what we're gonna do today. What you're gonna need for the project today is the paint of your choice. Be sure it is for plastic or whatever it is you're going to paint, metal, etc. And then also one of those spray grips for the top of the can. It just makes it so much easier than holding your index finger on that little button. Be sure that you're in an, a ventilated area. Open a window and a door so you have a cross current. Of course, drop cloth and something to put the uh, planter on that puts it on a height that's good for your back. Well, first of all, I've got the planter. I pulled it over here in a little wagon. And it is full of the soil that the uh, black and blue dahlia was planted in last year. And I'm not going to remove the dirt. And what I'm planning to do, I've got a lot of cardboard from gift wrap here. And so what I'm going to do is take this cardboard measuring the top of it. This one looks perfect because it's just about as wide as my pot. And I'm going to measure that diameter, cut out a circle in this, and then just put it right over the soil. Kind of tuck it in the edges. That way it'll protect my soil. And here's how I covered the soil. I just measured the top. I had it about 16 inches in diameter. So I just made sure I had a piece of cardboard that was at least 16 by 16. Cut it off real quickly, quartered it, and rounded that edge. When I unfolded it, I have a basic circle that I can just stuff and cram down into that top of the soil. It kind of fit real snugly. So I felt like that protected the soil real well. But you can just see how it just fit down under that lip. Perfect. I've, my soil is protected. Be sure to clean the outside of your planter so it accept the paint and then dry it well. Attach that spray grip to the can of paint. That's real simple. It just snaps on and you're ready to go. Make sure you have your windows open because you're going to need ventilation. So we've got the window open in this downstairs basement. You can see how this had a lot of pretty decoration and a decorative um, surface, but it's kind of a little shop worn and we're going to renew this planter and make it wonderful again. It's all cleaned and ready to be painted. So here we go. ideal so that I could swivel it but I didn't have a turntable I'm gonna pick one up soon You can 
see how nice that buff tone is going to look. I think it filled in all the crevices real well. And we didn't even notice until we're painting that there were a couple of small cracks. But they don't seem like they will affect the integrity of this one. But this may be its last year. But basically getting a new pot for one can of paint and there is enough to finish a few more cans. It's worth it. I really like how it looks.